Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain about electrochemical theory of corrosion. Before that, let us see what is corrosion. Normally in nature, uh, metals are present in the form of uh, compounds uh, such as uh, oxides, carbonates, uh, sulfides, chlorides or silicates. During metallurgy process, these metallic compounds are converted into its metal form. This extraction process requires very high energy. And hence, uh, these metallic components are in the lower energy state, whereas uh, these extracted metals are in the higher energy state. Therefore, uh, these extracted metals are unstable uh, compared to these metallic compounds. So, uh, because of this unstability, metals are always uh, trying to come back to its uh, stable state, uh, that is compound form. Uh, hence, uh, this metals starts to decay. This process is actually known as corrosion. Hence, corrosion is defined as the destruction of uh, or destruction or the deterioration of a metal as a result of chemical reaction between the metal and the surrounding environment. Corrosion is a nat natural process that converts a refined metal into a more chemically stable form such as um, oxides, hydroxide or sulfides. Uh, thus, we can say corrosion is a reverse process of extraction of metals. That is the conversion of uh, metals into a metallic uh, compound is corrosion whereas extraction of uh, this metals from its metallic component is nothing but metallurgy. Uh, here as I said these metals are in the uh, higher energy state whereas its corresponding compounds are in the lower energy state. So obviously uh, these metals are always uh, have a tendency to acquire more stable state that is lower energy state hence these metals undergo corrosion. Now let us see about uh, electrochemical theory of corrosion. Uh, this theory is applicable only for wet corrosion. Uh, so first we will see what is wet corrosion. When a metal is exposed to environment in the presence of moisture, then corrosion is takes place. This process is known as wet corrosion. Uh, according to this theory, metal corrosion is takes place due to the formation of a tiny galvanic cell with cathodic as well as anodic region all over the metal surface. That means the metal surface uh, contains uh, both anodic region as well as cathodic region. In the anodic region, oxidation is takes place by liberating electrons and in the anodic region, Reduction is takes place by using the electrons which is uh, obtained from the anodic region. Now let us see in detail about anodic reaction as well as cathodic reaction. Uh, for this let us take the example of iron metal. As I said um, at the anodic region oxidation is takes place. Uh, hence, the iron metal is converted into uh, Fe2 plus ions with the liberation of electrons. And this is the reaction. Iron is converted into Fe2 plus ions with the liberation of two electrons. At the cathodic region, here, here I already told uh, the reduction is takes place. Uh, here actually what happens is uh, the species uh, present in the uh, corrosive medium like um, H plus uh, water and uh, oxygen undergoes reduction by the help of electrons which is uh, liberated at the anodic region. Uh, hence uh, cathodic reaction can be determined based on the type of species present in the corrosive medium. Uh, most common uh, types are either by liberation of hydrogen or by adsorption of oxygen. First, let us see uh, about hydrogen evolution type. 
Uh, here we can see two types of reaction. One is in the acidic medium and the another one is in the uh, neutral medium. In the acidic medium, the H plus ions are present in the corrosive medium uh, reacting with the electrons. This electron is already present in the uh, anodic region. And the liberation of hydrogen is takes place. And in the neutral medium, the water molecule which is present in the corrosive medium uh, reacting with the electrons uh, which is obtained from the anodic region and the uh, formation of OH minus uh, ions is takes place along with the liberation of hydrogen. In both the cases, we can observe that the uh, liberation of hydrogen is takes place. Hence, the name is hydrogen evolution type. Next type is oxygen absorption type. Here also we can observe uh, two types of reaction. One is in the acidic medium and another one is in the neutral medium. Um, first, we will see about in the acidic medium. Uh, in the acidic medium, uh, the H plus ions uh, present in the corrosive, uh, corrosive medium uh, absorbs uh, oxygen along with the electron. This electron is obtained from the anodic region and the um, removal of water molecule is takes place in the neutral medium uh, the water molecules which is present in the corrosive medium absorbs water along with the electron and the formation of oh minus ion is takes place here in, in these two cases also we can observe the absorption of oxygen is takes place hence the name is oxygen absorption type Next, let us see about the rest formation. Uh, now, we uh, know that uh, in the anodic region, Fe2 plus ion is takes place along with the liberation of electrons. And this electron is applied uh, in the cathodic region. Uh, and uh, in the cathodic region, the formation of OH minus ion is takes place. Uh, these OH minus ions and uh, Fe2 plus ions, Fe2 plus ions and the uh, anodic uh, OH, sorry, uh, cathodic OH minus ions diffuse each other and the formation of ferrous hydroxide is takes place. This ferrous hydroxide is nothing but the corrosion product. In the oxidizing environment, uh, this uh, ferrous hydroxide absorbs oxygen along with the water molecule. The formation of a ferric oxide is takes place. That is Fe2O3.H2O. This ferric oxide is nothing but yellow rust. If the concentration of the oxygen is limited, then the ferrous hydroxide uh, absorbs the oxygen and the formation of ferrous ferric oxide is takes place that is Fe3O4.3H2O. Uh, this ferrous ferric uh, oxide is also known as magnetite and this is nothing but black rust. So overall uh, we discussed about the definition of corrosion that is the destruction or the deterioration of a metal then we also discussed about the electrochemical theory of corrosion by taking iron as an example in that we discussed about its uh, theory that is uh, corrosion is takes place due to the formation of a uh, tiny galvanic cell then we also discussed the cathodic as well as anodic reaction that is in the anodic reaction uh, oxidation is takes place and in the cathodic reaction the reduction is takes place and finally we saw rust formation.